CAD version 0.14 under Ubuntu 12.04 LTS and the dimensions are 3 meters high, the tank is 3 meters high and the radius is 1 meter which means the outer diameter is 2 meters. The tank is made from mild steel with 5 millimeters uh, thickness. And the corners at the top of the tank and at the bottom are 20 millimeters outer diameter and 195 millimeters inner diameter. Okay, let's get going. Start freak out. Go into Workbench part design. Then we start a new drawing and then we give it a name. Save. Then start a new sketch in the XY plane. Zoom out a bit. Then use polyline. sketch the cross-section of your tank roughly right click to stop polyline then we can start drawing putting some dimensions in so we know the distance from the origin to the top of the tank will be 3000 we know the distance from this line to the origin will be 1000 and we now can to the corners and the radius will be the same on both corners. Let's now define the radius 200. Okay, so let's move that upwards and let's fix that point to the origin and the whole sketch has gone green which means we are fully constrained okay that's good next we that's so that's the outer side of the tank we draw uh, another cross another line set of lines to to um, so that we are able to get a thickness for the tank. Okay, so do the same thing again. Right click to stop polyline then start dimensioning so we know distance is so we used to have 3000 we now have 2995 because of 5 millimeters thickness now that line from here to there will be 1000 minus 5995 nine, millimeters Okay, so that's looking good. Next, we're doing the uh, corners. So, the fillet tool here and there. And right click to finish. And that radius will be identical to that radius the equal sign 
now the radius zoom in a bit the radius this will be we used to have 200 we now have 200 minus 5 millimeters of thickness so that will be 195 okay now that has come back from this point here so we need to have a dimension from this origin to the inner line and that's going to be five millimeters okay so that's looking good not quite constrained yet so there is a degree of freedom here so we want this point and this line to be zero and all of a sudden we have a fully constrained sketch now one thing we still need to do is to get a closed uh, structure we need to have a line from this point to this point so we just use um, the line facility and then we bring those two points in line and those two points in line and we again have a fully constrained sketch let's not forget the bottom side of the tank and again we close that's done so bring this point and this point together okay and we again have a fully constrained sketch so we finished our sketch now right click now go to sketch right click finish it again all we need to do now is go to part then select the sketch and use the revolve tool to revolve the whole sketch and now take care about the axis we want to rotate around the y axis so we need to specify that here scroll up and click OK and here we go we have our tank as desired. Thanks for watching.